They're on the move again. The Borg just overran three of our defense checkpoints. They've taken over decks five and six. They've adapted every modulation of our weapons. It's like we're shooting blanks. We have to work on finding another way to modify our weapons so they'll be more effective. In the meantime, tell your men to stand their ground. Sir. Fight hand to hand if they have to. Aye, sir. Wait. Captain, our weapons are useless. We must activate the auto-destruct sequence and use the escape pods to evacuate the ship. Now! Jean-Luc, if we destroy the ship, we destroy the Borg. We're gonna stay and fight. Sir, we have lost the Enterprise. We should not sacrifice... We have not lost the Enterprise, Mr. Wolf. We are not going to lose the Enterprise. Not to the Borg, not while I'm in command. You have your orders. I must object to this course of action. The objection is... is noted. With all due respect, sir, I believe you are allowing your personal experience with the board to influence your judgment. You're afraid. You want to destroy the ship and run away, you coward. John Luke. If you were any other man, I would kill you where you stand. Get off my bridge. So what do we do now? We carry out his orders. Dyson, Kaplan, start working on a way Wait, to modify the weapon system. stupid. If we can get off this ship and then blow it up, let's do it. Once the captain's made up his mind, the discussion is over. <laughs> Lily. You son of a bitch. This really isn't the time. OK, I don't know jack about the 24th century, but everybody out there thinks that staying here and fighting the Borg is suicide. They're just afraid to come in here and say it. The crew is accustomed to following my orders. They're probably accustomed to your orders making sense. None of them understand the Borg as I do. No one does. No one can. What is that supposed to mean? Six years ago. They assimilated me into their collective. I had their cybernetic devices implanted throughout my body. I was linked to the hive mind. Every trace of individuality erased. I was one of them. So you can imagine, my dear, I have a somewhat unique perspective on the Borg, and I know how to fight them. Now, if you will excuse me, I have work to do. I am such an idiot. It's so simple. The Borg hurt you, and now you're going to hurt them back. In my century, we don't succumb to revenge. We have a more evolved sensibility. Bullshit! I saw the look on your face when you shot those Borg on the holodeck. You were almost enjoying it. How dare you? Oh, come on, Captain. You're not the first man to get a thrill from murdering someone. I see it all the time. Get out! Or what? You'll kill me? Like you killed Ensign Lynch? There was no way to save him. You didn't even try. Where was your involved sensibility then? I don't have time for this. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your little quest. Captain Ahab has to go hunt his whale. What? You do have books in the 24th century. This is not about revenge. Liar! This is about saving the future of humanity! John, look, blow up the damn ship! No! No! I will not sacrifice the Enterprise. We've made too many compromises already, too many retreats. They invade our space, and we fall back. They assimilate entire worlds, and we fall back. Not again. The line must be drawn here! This far, no farther! And I will make them pay for what they've done!
you broke your little ships. See you around, Ahab. And he piled upon the whale's right hump the sum of all the rage and hate felt by his whole race. If his chest had been a cannon, he would have shot his heart upon it. What? Bobby Dick? Actually, I never read it. Ahab spent years hunting the white whale that crippled him in quest for vengeance. But in the end, it destroyed him and his ship. I guess he didn't know when to quit. Prepare to evacuate the Enterprise.